Hi everybody and welcome back to Sketch 2C. In this episode we get to see what all of these very very fun and exciting parts are and where are they going. If you know before you actually watch the entire video then please leave a comment down below because I'd love to see what your guesses are. And yeah, what is that giant coil? What do you think that's going to be used for? Yeah, so before we can do absolutely anything with those parts, we had to move the boat from the actual pier uh, into the shipyard part of Raffles Marina in Singapore. And yes, you are looking at this correctly. There's about a meter on each side of the boat, and there's no possible way that that dinky little travel lift could do anything. So you'll just have to see how this process goes when we actually go to taking the mast off the boat. Obviously an interesting day here aboard Crazy Love. We got our lo another lovely, lovely, lovely view. But I don't know if you can notice some of what's going on here today. Solent's off, ASIM's off. These are about to come off. Now what is that giant machine over there doing? Plus the team of guys here. That's right, we are pulling the mast today. So this is exactly why we are pulling the mast off the boat. This sort of repair is just too difficult to do with, uh, with the mast in place. You can see here that this is the track from the very top of the mast has sheared off at the bolts and we suspect that this happened from the shock load in light winds. Um, so what we have, those parts that you saw earlier are going to replace uh, the track at every single reefing point on the mast. Already got the boom off. That took uh, about half of a day. And I think we've got everything disconnected and tied up here. So this part of the process is we actually have to jack the mast up in order to remove the shims that hold the mast in place and keep tension on the shrouds. So that is what is happening right now. So sorry for all the time lapse shots here, but a lot of people don't really realize how much goes into actually taking a mast off of a boat this size, let alone where do we put it. But there was a team of about a dozen guys, both on land and on the boat, uh, just making sure everything was disconnected and tightly wrapped up so it wasn't gonna swing or weren't gonna cause any additional damage just from removing the mast. So if you look all the way up there at the diamond spreaders, you can see that they've put basically a moving blanket around it and strapped that into place because that is going to be the lift point and we wanted to protect the paint on the mast from any consequential damage that comes from the actual hook of the crane itself. We've got the team here on standby. Crane's in position. Still don't know how they're gonna set this down yet. And if you look all the way up to the top of the mast, you can see that the crane has now successfully attached to it and we are about ready to go once they finish removing the shims. And then it's a simple matter of untying there pulling the pin out of stay and then there as well. And all of that comes off 
with the mast. So what's going on here is they're actually undoing our temporary loops. Uh, and that's part of the parts that showed up are our permanent loops for the shrouds uh, now that everything has finally uh, stretched out a little bit and should have reached its uh, comfortable resting place, let's put it that way. Uh, so this was interesting to watch because they actually did it while it was slightly under pressure and keep in mind that the crane is supporting the mast. So as you can see here, now that the shrouds are loose, we use the crane to tilt the mast slightly forward as it's still on its mast plate. And this took the tension off of both of the head sails so we could actually undo them. And right here at the bottom, you can see the, uh, the launcher on itself is actually resting on the dolphin striker. Uh, it was kind of weird to see the martingale actually go loose. It was a really creepy feeling. Here we have all the guys setting up all of their painter lines, and I think this is where we just about have liftoff. So yeah, you can see that the base of the mast is now off the boat, hovering above the boat, and that crane is slowly gonna lift it and swing it over those other boats that you can see in the background. Um, and then you'll quickly see all these guys run uh, once their painter lines can't, uh, can't control it anymore. Uh, they'll jump off the boat and run over to the parking lot where we're actually going to be setting the mast down. Here's some movie magic for you. This is about 30 minutes later when we are finally set up to start laying the mast down. So the way that it was initially attached to the crane was kind of a problem at this point because we had to set it down then we had to adjust the way that it was attached to the crane because we need the track to be um, on the top because that's what we actually need to do the work on is the track, not really anything else on the mast. So we set it down initially and then we have to rotate it 180 degrees on its axis so the track is uh, facing the sky. Here on this end, they had to adjust the strap as well. So as soon as they take tension, it will actually Rotate. So we've just lifted it up again. We're going to try and spin it around, I guess, just manually. Get the mast protected. So here we are actually spinning the mast around and the way we did it is we just attached painter lines to the spreaders and then had a team of guys basically just manhandling it around until uh, we finally got it to face the proper direction that we need to. So you can see right here now at the masthead specifically is the easiest spot to see that we've actually uh, flipped it around. And now that it has been finally flipped around, uh, all we have to do is slowly just kind of lay it down and then we can do a full inspection and actually see what the damage is and how difficult this is going to be because if you remember from those pictures in the beginning those bolts were still in the holes so it's going to be uh, quite fun to somehow drill those out and get those out of this mast. Okay, so another exciting day here because this is going to put this back on the boat. And I don't know if I've ever taken a good shot of what's actually at the top of the mast, but this is our lightning protection system, Wi-Fi stealing device, Oscar camera that arguably works. the team of guys that are going to put this giant stick back on the mast. Our brand new redesigned masthead car, more on that in another episode. And that also came with redesigned tracks at all of the reefing points. Again, more on that in another episode. And as we just keep going, see our spreaders, KVH radar, 
Oh, we're supposed to get a new horn because the loudspeaker is just disappointing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's really much else other than uh, the whole point of this exercise was to take the mast off the boat and put new titanium track plates in at the reefing points and a new masthead car. And uh, while, the, while it, this has been off the boat, we've taken the opportunity to do a few other things as well. So here we have the boom, successfully on the hard. And then this is what is changing here. This gap right here, we need to take a little bit out there because as the main sheet goes inside, it was chafing just a little bit. So you can see that the boom is obviously the first thing to come back on the boat. And now here comes the mast with its uh, just modified and new track. And you can see how many people it actually takes to do something like this. And the first thing that we attach is going to be the head sails and then the use the crane to tilt the mast uh, aft and that way we can get the shrouds back on. Now that everything has been connected again, uh, we have to jack the mast back up, put the shim plates in once we've hit the proper tension on our mast, which I believe is around seven tons uh, on the load cell pins in the shroud. And then after that, we get to put the sail back on and that's what's happening here. And you will quickly see Sergio go up and down just to make sure that it's attached and secure and everything like that is sorted and ha 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 ship shape. Uh, then we will furl it up and call it a day. And we think that was a successful mission to take the mast on and off the boat and do the repairs. But then all of a sudden, this is what started happening. Yep, and you'll just have to stay tuned to see how this uh, actually transpired. I really hope you guys found that episode as shocking as I did. You'll just have to stay tuned to see if we were actually struck by lightning. Maybe we were, maybe we weren't. Maybe that's why we disappeared for months and didn't produce any more content for anybody because we were too busy dealing with this. You'll just have to stay tuned and find out. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please like, subscribe and share. One small click from you goes a long way for us. You can always follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well. And if you ever have any questions or just want to talk about boats, please feel free to reach out to me at sketch2c at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.